Hey friends, welcome back. Friends, today we're gonna talk on import and in order to save some time, I have already added this project into our Eclipse IDE. The project is blank. I have not added anything and uh, let's get started and let's create one JSP file. So I will click on new JSP file and uh, the name could be like import the JSP let me click on finish and here we go now in order to import anything in a JSP file we need to use the page directive and the way is pretty simple we simply need to use the page directive obviously we will make use of add symbol and we will type in page and then import equals and inside double quotes we will type in the name of the type now in here we won't be able to import package for example if i type in java.util and save then there would be an issue but if i then type in date then it would be a proper statement let me undo the change and let us check what is the error in here the error is only a type can be imported and java.util resolves as a package so we won't be able to import a package but we would be able to import a type so let us import the date type in here and now we can display the date on the web page easily we can either make use of a scriptlet or a expression obviously expression would be rather uh, easier choice because we won't be required to create a date variable and we simply need to type in new date here we go and if i execute this web page now the output would be the current date here we go so this is the output which is in front of us now not only we can import a type in here we can import user defined classes as well so let me add a class in here and for doing so by highlighting java resource i will add a new class and this is class not a sublet the name could be for example demo and package could be maybe imports and there would be for example no main method let us create the class without a main method here we go so in this particular class we can create a method now so it would be a public method the name could be maybe test and in here we would simply return a text and the test would be returned from test method here we go okay and as we are returning a, a string we need to type in string in here everything looks fine and finally in here we would be importing this particular class so for doing so we would again make use of page directive page import equals now obviously we have this imports package so we will type in imports dot the name of the class and what is the name of the class the name of the class is also demo so it would be demo here we go so now let us call this test method from the class demo and in order to make things more readable i have added this br tag in between this particular statement and the statement we are going to type in and i suppose you guys already have some basic knowledge of html as this is required so let me type in a jsp expression and inside this jsp expression first of all we would require a object of demo class so i will type in new demo and without creating a instance let us call the test method directly here we go rather taking a shortcut in order to implement things here we go so in here returned from the test method text on our web page so this is how we can like import our 
own classes or call our own methods or we can import any type directly on the JSP page. So I hope I have made myself clear. Explanation was easy and lecture was cleaner and easy to understand. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.